what I think is at the core of our method is going to be shown in the next five or six slides. And that is that uh, messages encode networks. And so here's a tweet or a post on X. Um, hashtag NodeXL is brought to you by at SMR Foundation. It was tweeted by the at NodeXL account. NodeXL looks at that one tweet and it says, I see two accounts. One's talking about the other one. And it talks about the other one in the form of this thing called a mention. And I'm going to draw uh, account one, account two, and draw a line from one to the other. There you go. It's a network. It's the simplest possible network. It's two nodes, one link, and it is represented by a single message. And so then this Mark Smith guy shows up. I retweet that one tweet. Just by hitting the retweet button once, I create two new connections. I'm now in the graph, so it's a third node. And now I've retweeted node Excel, but I mentioned in the retweet the SMR Foundation account. So we can go again. Node Excel Academy shows up and simply says today's Node Excel event will be hosted by you know uh, Wasim Ahmed from the University of Sterling, soon going to the uh, University of Hull, by the way. Uh, Digital Space Lab, one of our other team members, and myself. So you get another dot on the screen. It goes out and mentions three different things, uh, two of which are new, one of which already exists, and then somebody else shows up, just tweets something, doesn't mention any of this. Where's the line go? Goes back to themselves. We call it a self loop. Because otherwise, who are they talking to? Twitter? Well, it turns out there is an at Twitter account, or there was. And so you didn't talk to it. And so we wouldn't want to do that. That would damage the data. You talk to you in the case of not talking to anyone. And so this is one set of edges. And an edge is any one connection between these two, any two entities. An edge is synonymous with link tie, connection, bond, uh, relationship, all of those words for uh, some kind of an association between one thing and another. A, a transfer, a connection, an endorsement, a link, a tie, um, all of those. And so then uh, Node Excel can then go, okay, I'm going to reply to you. We get one more link. And then, of course, there could be this whole other set of relationships underneath this, the who follows who relationships, separate from reply and mention and all those other kinds of things. And so the key takeaway is when you see social media encoded in it are actually connections between the entities. And if we extract that, and how do you do that? Well, let the machine do it. Machine does it automatically. You just feed it data. It rips them apart, builds these edges for you. And then that lets you gain insights into these collections. And so let's do this. So when you're in a network, where you are in the network matters. Uh, I don't know if you've ever purchased a home, but real estate agents like to say that there are three most important things about a home purchase. Uh, location, 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 right? It's not like school and foundation and you know that kind of thing it's location 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 and in network theory we have a, a saying that the most important thing in a network is position 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 and so we look at a dot like diane the big dot in the center of the screen most important person in the graph right because size here is how many connections have you got and yet there's heather half the number of connections there is an argument that says Heather is, quote, more important by some definition of importance, more important than Diane. And so here's a mental exercise. We're going to do this again with some slides, but here's a mental exercise. Uh, remove Diane from the graph and then ask yourself who has become disconnected, who can't reach somebody else. Is there anybody when we remove Diane who then becomes like an isolate, an island? They're sort of broken away. And then let's try that again with Heather. You remove Heather. What happens to Ike and Jane? They're like on a block of ice floating away from the Arctic, right? They're just, bye-bye. You can't, I mean, this is presuming certain things about the nature of the graph. Like if, if you don't, if Garth wants to talk to Ike and Heather's not there, that he, he doesn't know how to talk to Ike. 
And in some cases, this is true, right? You know, it's like you talk to somebody and say, hey, I need a new dentist. And if they don't know a dentist, they don't know a dentist. And so this might matter. Now, of course, there are other discovery mechanisms. There's something called the internet. So I, I understand there are other ways to form connections. Hold on to that thought for a moment. But here, what we're saying in the confines of this graph, what does importance mean? How do we measure it? How do we measure position? And so you'll see that there's like degree, that's the number of lines, but then there's between this centrality and that's how much would the graph break into pieces if you leave? Hey, Mark.